Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I am really good. How are you? I am good. Thank you. I am good. And I'm excited for another conversation. Yes. Um, how's your week been? <laughs> I say, how's your week been? We've been together for a lot of it. So we may as well both. You, you know it. Like, <laughs> we've been joined at the hip all week. I said to you on <laughs> Saturday, I think, wasn't it? I said, I feel like we're neighbours. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we've literally been with each other and um, virtually and in person wow what an incredible week so tuesday the club kicked off didn't it for the first virtual of yes. february um that's last yeah tuesday just gone um and we welcome some incredible new members and that is always super exciting and we had yeah. just a really oh the energy was high yeah on, on the call on Tuesday night and it was um yeah just stepping into that driving seat wasn't it and yeah what ready are we focusing action. on this week or this month and how are we going to do it and yeah just raising that accountability so that was everything and then what else have we done <laughs> and then <laughs> we've had Thursday. a lot of zooms haven't we we've had a lot, a lot of zooms, a lot of zooms. yeah um, yeah Thursday we did our first in-person event in Bromsgrove, my neck of the woods. Yeah. Um, which was an evening of well-being, which was so blissful and so calming and so wonderful. It was like a mass sleepover. It took me back to yeah. Brownie Camp. Yeah. <laughs> 17, <laughs> 17 incredible women in the room. Um, and that included Amber, uh, our sound healer, our sound bath yeah. healer. And we had a couple of hours together, didn't we, to just reflect, yeah, connect to ourselves and others. Mm-hmm. And then be treated to this hour sound bathe, which was just it was just oh. literally like a big sleepover, wasn't it? And it like was. I totally agree with you. It took me back to like childhood, which was so wonderful. It's like, yeah, bring your blankets, bring your your mm-hmm. cushions, get cozy, and let's just do this together. It was so yeah, yeah it was vibes. It was a really special space yes. to be in a room with all these wonderful women that were just open to being there together and doing this stuff together and yeah. That was to be celebrated in itself. So that was amazing. Mm. And then you slept at mine. The, the sleepover continued. Yeah. <laughs> stayed at mine. Um, and then Friday, wowzers, <laughs> we got up and we did our brand photo shoot okay. with the wonderful Vanda. Um, yes. Her photography is just captures it all. And uh, yeah, we did a photo shoot, didn't we, for our new brand pics. Yeah. And the energy in that was really high. Yeah. <laughs> It's like I think we managed to like wrestle up about three or four clothing changes. Yes, um, one in the park, which we were yeah. like, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> and I'm really excited. We've said we had a sneak preview of a couple of the pics, but I just can't wait to see them because we're on this yeah. mission to really help our audience and our followers and our members and anyone that that is with us on this journey kind of just feel us through the pictures. And this was a learning from the gorgeous Rebecca Aidhill. Yes, with our um business coaching uh, course that we had with her you know to just kind of feel it through the image without yeah. saying the words and I think we really stepped into that I felt it like yeah I felt yeah. the energy mm-hmm. but we were the energy and 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 I know Vanda's captured that so yeah. beautifully yeah so they're exciting that's yeah. to come <laughs> um and then it continues guys I was gonna say that we sort of we did didn't we we well we, we went and had a, a the most delicious meal at Casa Bed, which is Cat's Restaurant. So I was yeah. treated to the most delicious tapas food, which was incredible. Um, and then we landed back in Cheshire and I was literally, I looked at you, didn't I? I was like, how have we just got I back here? here. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's I agree. That doesn't sound great, does it? But, you know, and sometimes you were literally, yeah. we were t- chatting away, weren't we, on the journey home. And then we were back in Cheshire and you, uh, the the sleepover continued again. <laughs> it did. It did. I I kept it yours. Oh, we had and some good then... food on the evening, didn't we? Oh, we Cat did. She was like, I was like, what do you find? Obviously, we'd already eaten a lot of great food at Casa yeah. And then we were like, I'm not really that hungry, but what, what, what should we eat? And then <laughs> Kat literally was like, I think I quite fancy nachos. And I was thinking, yes, nachos. That led to one thing to the other. Did, and literally, I had, we had these like double layered nachos with cheese all the condiments, refried yeah. beans, jalapenos, all the good stuff, jalapenos, a bit more cheese, bit more sauce. And it, it went massive. And then um you made, didn't you, with my girls, the um strawberries with chocolate on as well as a dessert. Oh 
So it was just an absolute feast of a day on yeah. Friday. All the senses, <laughs> tapping into all the senses of Friday. And we sat on the sofa, didn't we, yeah. the pair of us, with these dirty big bowls of nachos. <laughs> and we watched The Secret, the film, didn't we? Yes. We Which did. we only got part way through. I mean, I watched it year, years ago. Um, yeah. I think it was back in 2006. Um, but it's been a while since I've watched it. And uh, we started watching that. So that's, yeah, if uh, if you're intrigued by that, yeah. what the secret is, I'm not going to give it away. Yeah. You've got to watch it. you got to yeah. watch it to find out. <laughs> um, but it's documentary stars. It's, 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 it's great. Um, yeah. is, all, is all I'm going to say. I'm going to park yeah. it there. Um and then it continues. There's more. There's more. Yes. He woke up Saturday morning, 6 a.m., had a coffee, got in the zone, got in the <laughs> car. And where did we go, Charlotte? We went for a little little dip in a lake at 7.30 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> organised. This was an organised dip at the Incredible Farm Club. Yes. Um, which it involved an hour's breath work, which mm-hmm. was... Oh, to be out, it was outside, outside breath work with yeah. the, the, the sun had come up and it was just, yeah, that was also everything, wasn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. just to be it... with yourself, wasn't it? And like, yeah. and it's that breath work, I think, before then getting into the lake that is just such an experience. Yeah. yeah. And Kat, tell us, <laughs> because you are not a Coldworth and oh, Water person. No. See, I quite am. So I want you to tell this story because obviously I've, yeah. yeah. So I was starting to be filled with a lot of fear on the Friday night and I like, I'm a quite a detailed person. So I was kind of asking Charlotte everything there was to know <laughs> about what am I doing tomorrow morning? So on the Friday, I started to kind of interrogate you a little bit, didn't I? And well, will this happen and what will happen? And I could just feel this sort of like fear of, am I, am I, re- am I really doing this? Why am I doing this? <laughs> How am I going to do this? So anyway, on Saturday, I really had to make a shift, and this was an active conscious shift in my thinking um, to create different feelings, so that I could get in that lake. And it wasn't the I'm not I'm not fearful of the water. I'm not fearful of the lake. The lake is beautiful. Like pop me on a sunny day and turn that temperature up to thirty degrees in the lake. Like, I'm all in. I'm yeah. jumping head first. <laughs> it was the cold. It was the fact that it was February morning and it was six degrees in the in the lake. And I was just like when I first said to my husband that I was doing this, he was like you. He was like, are you serious? He's like, cat at our gym, <laughs> like the water temperature of the pool is around, I don't know, 27. Like that. He's like, and I like, that is a struggle for me to yeah. get in. Like, I, I just sit in the hot tub. I'm not going to lie. I just sit in the jacuzzi. <laughs> um, so he was like gobsmacked. But it was definitely a thing for me of, and, and I'm still, I'm still a little unsure as to whether I'm really excited to do it again. Mm-hmm. I think that's where I'm edging towards because of how exhilarating it was. Or was it a bucket list thing? You know, it's yeah. a tick. Like I've I've walked on hot coals. That's something I have done. Mind over matter. That's that was a um a bucket list thing. Although I'm I would probably do that again. Yeah. Um, and is it one of those? I think I'm edging towards it being. It's something I want to build on and would yeah. like to do it again on reflection now. And I feel like sorry, I'm 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 coming out of the story, but I'm gonna I'm gonna come back. Yeah, to it, but I feel like all the feelings from Saturday are still with me. Mm-hmm. And it's this huge sense of achievement. So we did the breath work. We got up and um, Charlotte's beautiful friend, Anna, who she introduced me to, um, did it with us. And like her approach was everything I needed. Yeah. She's like, get up, get down to like, get in. I'm yeah. like, I'm coming, I'm coming. Like, I'm doing this because you put me, it was quite a big group. I was like, if you put me at the back of that group, you give me any, any room to hesitate. You give me any room to be delayed getting into that lake because I've got to wait for people then that's that's not a good space for me so I'm like yeah loving this. and it's like on a mission we're down we're heading towards the lake okay in my mind like I can do this and it is a real like I can is so so powerful like yeah. we tell ourselves we can't like don't like just oh no yeah. you know like I can, such I a can. Block. it's a physical mental emotional block and I had to shift into that I can I can do this I can do this and I had to see myself I really tapped into visualizing myself in that lake I could see myself in the lake calm collected enjoying the moment and just really moving into I can so we got down there we stripped off super quick yeah and that was it 
we were going in so there's this this jetty and it kind of gradually goes in which which is is good yeah and you've got like a rope to lean on for support and that was it Anna and Charlotte were in and I was going in behind and I think I got down to maybe like I don't know if it was my waist or my bust and and, and Charlotte you gave me this look and you were like as if to say are you okay and I was like mm-hmm no <laughs> like I was I was fine like don't nobody freak out here I was fine yeah but you know that it was cold and it did take my breath away I'm yeah. not gonna I'm gonna hide this like this is what happened it took yeah. my breath away so I turned back round and I walked back up the jetty a little and I held onto the side and I just controlled my breath I took that intake I took that breath in yeah and I just composed myself I came back to breath back to I can back to how much I want to do this to push through this fear to do this for me and that was it I went back in and I got down to I think I got down to um my bust yeah and then I was like I just don't know if I can go any more in and you you were just giving me such encouragement as if to say come on you can do yeah I could see you and Hannah and I had got your hands on your hearts. So I did the same and I slowly submerged and I got my um, myself into just, just above above my hands and my heart. Shoulders not in. That's okay because you but were that's in. Okay. <laughs> but I was in and I think I did about three or four minutes. And I oh, just, it's going to sound really bizarre. And, and I know we all experience this in massively different ways. Yeah. Obviously, I was cold. I'm sure I was cold, but something happened. My body felt really warm under the water. <laughs> like, and I don't know. And I don't know if that's just a literal comparison to the parts of me that I was out of the water that were cold. But I felt so warm, and I just felt so oh, euphoric. Mm. And just looking out this this space and this lake, and just seeing. Being with all these other people, just doing this bloody crazy thing at yeah. seven thirty, eight o'clock on a Saturday morning, like what a bunch! And even the guy who's incredible, who 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 guides you through this, he's like, oh, after once you're out, what a bunch of nutters, yeah. like literally. <laughs> but it was wonderful to experience this with others that are like, everyone's there for their own reasons, yeah, pushing through boundaries, feeling fear, helping with their mental health, just because they love getting into a cold lake on a Saturday morning, like whatever it is for yeah. them. Mm-hmm. We're all there for our own reasons. We're all on our own journeys. And it was just incredible. And mm. then we got out and we got dried and got changed pretty quick. I was like, I'm really warm. I'm like, <laughs> really hot. But like, quick, get, you get your gear back on. So, you, you know, so you, you keep your, your body temperature. And um, oh, just afterwards, guys, like just that sense of achievement for me on a really personal level was everything like and I feel it now my body like I'm so proud of myself so proud of myself I'm proud of you I'm proud of Anna I'm proud of every single person that did that in the morning Mm -hmm. but mostly I'm so so proud for myself because it was a big thing and I pushed through and you know it's it stands for so much more than that like I did it to prove to myself that I can do it because I, I wanted to believe that I could and I did yeah and it's just that empowerment of like i believe i can like what what that belief gives you when you believe you can yeah you do absolutely and you know there was um a guy who went in was it and it's really interesting because i think and even then they came out like so i think they there was quite a big group of guys wasn't there like they were kind of saying that they'd done the ice bath and they almost were like too jokey about it And the thing is, you cannot be jokey in that situation because you're not getting in. You have got to be with yourself to get in. There's no jokes. Like, I mean, you can have fun, don't get me wrong. But you can't joke about it because you've got to be calm and you've got to get to this state where you can get in there and be calm in there. And one of the guys kind of he'd been in with me and you could tell he was not like, because if you're moving around, that's it's about getting calm in that moment, isn't it? And he came out and the guy didn't, he said, he went, got 30 seconds left in you there and kind of like encouraged him to get back in and he came out the second time a completely different person and I really witnessed that like the first time it was coming out not in fear but still not like I don't know what I'm trying to say but basically the second time he came out of there that sense of achievement I felt it in him yeah Whereas that first time he came out too soon, he hadn't felt that yet. 
Mm. And like the guy just noticed he needed that 30 extra seconds to come out calm. (laughs) Yeah, that's it. That's it. And like that was just everything. And yeah, it was, um, it's just such a, like you say, you like, it's really hard to describe, like, because the cold does take your breath away. I literally, it did. Both times when you put your foot in there for the first time, you're like, wow, wow, that is cold. And I think a lake, like, because I obviously like like cold water swimming and I, I do in Cornwall and I go in the sea. The lake is a completely different experience, I think, because it's so dense. It's just, a va- you know, like the water in like the sea moves. I don't know. There's something yeah, very different yeah. with it being in a lake. Mm. Um, But yeah, I experienced exactly the same. I think I was in there slightly longer than last time this time. And I know I said to you, I don't know whether I'm ready for a, a head dunk. I wasn't. I, would, I didn't dunk my head in this time, but that's what I'm working towards. Um, yeah. to that's get amazing. <laughs> I'll, I'll get my shoulders in if you dunk your head under. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this, no, is, what, no this, is what, this is what we were saying, wasn't it? Like kind of, you know, because you, you, you were warm in yeah. the water. Yeah. It's getting those shots. And then you've not, did he say it's a nerve in the back of your neck? There is so something. Then, a vague, yeah. I'm saying Vegas nerve. I'm, I could be making that up, but. Yeah. Um, so getting yeah. to that and that's actually I know it's hard getting your shot yeah. but, but then that's actually easier because you've not got the difference I think that's what yeah. you were saying yeah, wasn't it yeah. of, of the hot and cold definitely um but a lot in that of like conditioning growing up and that's why I really like being in that space like put your coat on you'll catch a cold like yeah like a lot of like you say mind over matter our yeah. body can do that we did that yeah but there's so much that we had to fight against in our mind to get yes. in there yes absolutely it was an inner battle like yeah and it kicked off on the Friday night through fear and that's why I was chose on Saturday to be like no like I can yeah. do this like what I'm, whatever we put our, put our minds to and believe and you know yeah. think that we can we absolutely can it just it's just really empowering and um I think that belief in myself in 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 things, mm. um, depending on what they are, has really you know helped over the past x amount of years with with building businesses and starting yeah. the restaurants and selling the restaurants and cre- you know just creating and believing in in yourself and believing that you can is is um it's something to work on like it really is to because once you've got yeah. it it's like it's unshakable it's um it is it's amazing it is. yeah. You know, I pulled myself up actually because I put a little um just so as one the topic of kind of language and and changing it. Like I put a story on this morning and I put well, this kind of going into the next topic that I wanted to just chat about, but I just pulled myself and I maybe I'll maybe I'll say it after this bit, but pulled myself up on my language um mm. this morning of like I mm. turned I hope into I will. Yeah. Oh gosh, big shift there. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow, like that's, you know, and this is where it's such a journey, isn't it? And yeah. that was such a journey for you in yeah. that language, in that lake, like you say, mm-hmm. in a different, because you use that a lot, like I can is massive for you. And yeah. it has been, you know, through your whole journey, but doing mm-hmm. it in the lake format of getting into a freezing cold lake is so new yeah. and it tests it in a new way. And it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, it, it, it absolutely <laughs> does. Yeah, yeah, it really does. And I think um, just what you've just touched on the hope that I hope and I will, um, like that is a gradual that is part of like if you're set and hope right now that's a really good feeling like yeah yeah you know and then and then there's that maneuver from hope to being like <laughs> the confidence is here and like, I will like yeah. that is part of the journey and that is the beauty yeah. because if you're feeling underneath the, uh, the hope at the moment like just that, that just nothing is possible or you know the mm, the yeah. not at hope when you get to hope celebrate that when yeah. you feel hopeful, celebrate that and just know that your next move is that confidence in like, oh, well, I am. Watch me. Yeah. I'm doing it. I yeah. can, you know. <laughs> um, so and our language is so which we'll probably touch on the this when we come to your topic. But yeah. language, our internal, external language is everything. Mm-hmm. Like, you know how passionate I am about language, like what what the words that we say in terms of communication with ourselves and communication with others, mm-hmm. they'll create feelings for us and they'll create feelings for other people. So when we yeah. get to really understand what our inner language is. And we manoeuvre it and we change it to to feel better and think better. Mm. Massive things happen. happen. But then when we start to articulate differently as well in different environments, but have an understanding of how to use our voice and use our language in different spaces with different people, that's when we're like, boom. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Like we're (laughs) really, we're a really, really great communicator. We're communicating with compassion and we're communicating with, an understanding of the effects of our language yeah so, absolutely um, so yeah that. 
And it continues. So <laughs> we did that on Saturday. I haven't even got to the end of the week yet, guys. Um, Charlotte dropped me off on the train. Had the be- like the train journey was literally like a the journey from Bromsgrove to Nantwich. She was like, how did I get back in Bromsgrove? Yeah, um, back, again, back again, back again. Back <laughs> again. And then family time Saturday, which was everything for both yes. of us. Yeah. And then Sunday, Sunday, uh, woke up weekly practice with our members. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful 30 minutes for ourselves. Yeah. Um, family days. And then last night, <laughs> Sunday <laughs> evening, we dived into a 30 minute free virtual learn to love yourself some yeah. members turned up which was amazing to see them people with ladies beautiful ladies we'd never met before that had felt yeah. the fear and did it anyway and shown up yeah. for themselves to totally celebrate that um and in that 30 minutes didn't we just oh, make the decision to love ourselves like we're yeah. choosing to criticize ourselves let's choose to to mm. not let's choose to encourage ourselves and that was a wonderful space to be in last night it was and this is something that I wanted to talk about because I was really thinking about this this morning of like what self-love used to mean to me okay and that was that it was being full of myself that it was I'd be judged for it that it was overly confident selfish do you feel that would that I hear you oh who does she look at her who does she, Who does she like think like those she thoughts we have for other people? Yeah. But actually, it's it's that inner self-love. It's not the it's look not... at me, look at no. who I am. And but there's but there's, you know, being confident in ourselves, embrace that. Like yeah. but the it's the inner self-love, it's the inner workings, isn't it? Yeah, that nobody else needs to know. No. It's literally our own journey to loving and appreciating who we are because Mm we we all act with such good intention in a day yet we are so hard on ourselves and this I felt this last night like obviously we did this shift in language like how are we currently talking to ourselves and when we ask ourselves that question and actually dive into it oh my goodness we are so mean to ourselves we absolutely beat ourselves up for the teeniest little step out of line and it's not on we deserve more than that and I think that was so powerful again in the session this shift from there is another way (laughs) there is is another way like self-love is everything it really is It, it taps into that inner happiness that inner peace that inner freedom to actually just feel enough you know um because we're all wanting to wanting to and do give so much love encouragement compassion understanding kindness patience Mm -hmm. words of wisdom to others so freely so openly you know give 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 and that is that is beautiful and that is incredible and i know we get a real sense of like goodness like good, it, that feels good right doesn't it to, to yeah. give that to others but it's like and you put this in, in, in really great words the other day like it's giving from an overflowing cup mm. giving all that freely and openly from an overflowing cup rather than a depleted cup because when we give all that if we haven't given all of that that I just said mm. <laughs> to ourselves first and we're just giving it out 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 the cup's empty, we're depleted, we're burnt out. What do you know? Oh, life mm-hmm. feels hard. Yeah. We have to give to ourselves what we need first. We have yeah. to. It's not selfish. No. It's self-love, self-care, doing things for me. Oh, it's so selfish. No. 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 <laughs> like, no, it's absolutely imperative. It's essential. Yeah. Because our cup's full. That I give from an f- overflowing cup because I love myself unconditionally. And you can be listening to think, this and think, what a dick. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Sorry. <laughs> um, you know, oh, look at her. She loves herself. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. But I'm humble in that. And yeah. I don't go around being like, I love myself. <laughs> you know? I love myself. Mm. Because if, like, I need to love myself, I can't put that on others. No. 
because then I'm searching, I'm looking, I'm external. Yeah. I'm giving it all to myself. And it's like, well, how, how are you doing that? Well, I'm being kind to myself with my words. Like it's all back to this, these thoughts and this mm. mind and what goes on with our language inside. Like if I mess up, what do I jump to? Oh, for God's sake, cat, you always make your mistakes. You're just no good at this. Give up. It's not worth it. No, I have done. I have done in the past. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But that's why I do the inner work because I jumped to, okay, you messed up, right? Mm-hmm. Do you need to make amends? Do you need to talk to somebody? What do yeah. you need to do about it? What can you learn from it? And some days like, it's easy to like just, just operate from that, put that to bed, close that box, move on. Other days, depending on what it is, it'll niggle a little bit. So it's just like, right, okay, just just be patient. So more encouragement, be patient with yourself here. I understand why you're feeling these things. Yeah. But you know you can work through this. You know you can navigate through this. So I'm, I'm my own coach. Yeah. I'm my own best friend. I'm treating myself like somebody I love. Mm-hmm. Because How much does that open up rather than, for goodness sake, like you just can't, you you know exactly what you just can't remember what you just yeah. said, but those feel like that's such a closed door. Whereas what you've just said in on the other way and yeah. doing it differently, like there's so much to learn there's so much to grow there's so much so many more choices available Mm -hmm. when we be that friend when we be that encourager when we be that cheerleader that we need yeah and it's and it's wonderful to have it from others like we know this that's why we got the club you know the club is a space for women on their personal growth self-development journeys to be on their journeys but in a space with other women that are doing the same for yeah. support encouragement being celebrated accountable lifting each other up but we've got to become our own best encourager but while we're on this journey to doing that let's mm-hmm. have that support around us because that's important because that keeps us going and that, and that yeah. feels good but ultimately the end goal is to be that person for ourselves yeah and it and it is a choice and it is a decision because we're choosing anyway we're choosing to break ourselves mm-hmm. we're choosing to beat ourselves up we're choosing to tell ourselves, oh, don't bother. Oh, I knew you wouldn't get that job anyway. Oh, or I didn't get that job, but I got the experience of that interview. There's something better in store for me. What's 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 be- what's the better? What's the better version? Yeah. <laughs> you tell me. What's going to make you feel better? Have. <laughs> and don't beat yourselves up if you sat there thinking, oh, God, that's what I do. Like, because we jump to the negative so much easier than we do the positive. And that is why what we're talking about here the inner work it's all on a conscious level like the the oh no I won't get it anyway approach to to not getting the job it's just autopilot and because we've been doing it for such a long time it just becomes automatic yeah and this is about reprogramming this is about creating those new wires it's scientific <laughs> like there's science behind it <laughs> it's not woo woo we know when we practice something we do something different mm-hmm. we get better at it and I you know I put the question out there like if you just start thinking, oh, oh yeah, it's easier said than done, then go do it. <laughs> go do it. It's easier said than done. Yeah. But how much do you want it? How much do you want to make that change mm. and make that shift? So go do it and just uh, try it. Try it. See what yeah. happens. I guarantee you'll prefer the encourager. I guarantee you will. Yeah. What's the Louise Hay quote? Remember, you've been criticizing yourself and it hasn't worked try approving of yourself and see what happens just try it love that see what happens like that kind of mindset for me Mm -hmm. is just everything like that opens up Mm -hmm. so much like try approving of yourself and see what Mm -hmm. happens because like you say it is a lot better than what is currently going on in your mind right now and I have a real example of of this like I remember like with the club when I first like I felt like I was working and this is where it is you know a continual journey to get to that self-love and it's not a I've arrived I'm here like you know these niggles come back up we can get like a little trigger that comes back up from the past and we're like oh but we've gained the tools along the way to get back out of that quicker um but I remember with the club obviously that was such a huge thing for me to launch the club back in October 1st of October 2021 and I did it and I did the first virtual and I was on such a high. It was incredible. And I remember waking up that next morning to such lovely messages, <laughs> such um, 
beautiful words from people. And that week, it was like, I was so grateful for all of that. But I was hit with a bunch of self-doubt that I was not expecting. And like these doubts, literally, I felt like they just knocked me over. <laughs> I was on such a high and I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> like, and it was evident to me that I needed to work on my self-love and my self-worth because I wasn't, I wasn't sat in that yet. I wasn't feeling deserving of all of that yet. And I've worked on myself in the club as much as our members have worked on themselves in the club. And this is why it's so beautiful that we get to do it together because I just had this, and then this is where I'll go back around to what the story that I just posted and corrected myself. Yeah. I hope to love myself enough so that, the, in fact, I'm going to read it to you. Ooh, I'm going to read it. Well, what was it that I wrote? I think it was, I hope to love. I hope to love myself enough to show my girls that self-love is the key to inner happiness, a happiness that can't be taken away from anyone or anything. Oh, can't be taken away. Sorry. Not really worded that very well. <laughs> but anyway, my point is, it was that shift from I hope and I, and I reread it and I was like, no, I know I will. <laughs> Think about that energy. Think about that energy and reading that. I hope to love myself, to show my yeah. girls. I hope, like, like, I and, and this is yeah. what I just want to establish, like, if hope is the next best thing for you right now, like, that I will might be feel, I hope I'm articulating this okay, but that, that I will might feel too far away for you right now. And please, yeah. and that's okay. Because if the yeah. hope feels really good, sit in that and use that and, yes. and be so proud of yourselves for it. But knowing where you are at now, my lovely... <laughs> You are not in the I hope. Like that energy, um, I hope to love myself. Yeah. No, Show I know girls. I'm going like, to. Like, slap yeah. you around the face with a wet yeah. fish. <laughs> like it's I will. You absolutely I love your will. little energy. I, I, I don't even know. Like, nobody even can see this, but I'm doing hand movements like a wet fish around Charlotte's face. But like, <laughs> like you will. Like you yeah. will. There's no, like there's no, I don't know. There's just no. Like, I you know. will show your girls. Because it's so important. Yeah. Because you want them to love themselves unconditionally, unapologetically for all, bit... all of who they are and what they are. Yeah. And it just really surprised me in that language this morning. I mean, I did, obviously, I was um, obviously doing it. I think I was walking back from the school front and stuff as I was doing it. So I've obviously not worded it very well anyway. But that, how that can come out, it's really interesting how that awareness, you can shift that and go to your next yeah. level. <laughs> yeah it's choosing the I next know, yeah. choosing the choosing the next best thought it's the yeah. next best what's my next yeah. best and like you say here? what feels good good for us in this yeah. moment like yeah. you say I have um I'm a few years in to this work now mm -hmm. and this is a very recent shift for me of mm -hmm. like I will yeah I will and, I know and, and, I will <laughs> yeah and just what you're highlighting like it, like just because we start this journey and you and I've started at different times so I've been doing it longer than you I still get bit on the bum yeah. like, do you know what I mean like, there'll still be days where something will bite me on the bum and I'll be like oh mm. okay no, you're still skill. hanging around yeah. let's sort you out like oh <laughs> right okay what tools have I got to navigate this shit like you know yeah. what I mean like it's yeah. what can I do here in this situation how can I get back to better quicker mm. like what can I do here and it's feeling equipped yes. feeling equipped and feeling empowered to just live your life to the full, create the life that you want to, and just um, fully embrace all that you are. Yeah. As, as your authentic self. I'll just summarize that up. There you go. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, amazing. So, how can we do a little takeaway with all of that? Take away. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> Learn to love yourself is decide. Mm. Decide yeah. and empower yourself through choice. Because you're choosing anyway. So choose something different. If that little critique pops up, if those unhelpful, disempowering, demotivating words pop up, mm. notice them. Okay. Like step into that awareness and be proud of that because mm -hmm. that takes work. Yeah. Because it's happening without us realizing at the moment. So notice and be proud of that. And then boom, fire something back at it. I <laughs> say, so thank you, but not today. Thank you, but not today. And mm -hmm. choose the next best thought. Choose something. If it helps, think, right, what would I say to 
someone I love right now what words would I say and I guarantee you'll be saying something different you'll be saying something far more encouraging something far kinder more sympathetic more forgiving more empowering and do it to yourself and see what happens and let us know yeah because we'd love to hear from you like it was so incredible the other week to hear from one of our listeners and she posed a question for us to answer on the podcast and that was just everything Mm -hmm. so just just talk to us like we are open yeah start this conversation and we'd love to hear we We really would yeah amazing oh wishing you all a wonderful week a wonderful day whenever it is that you're listening to this and just sending all our love you've got this you have lots of love speak to you soon bye bye